Alrighty guys, we're back here showing the unedited point standings from Race Points Manager and Joshua Balkin with that win has won the Pichu Cup and will have a reserve ride next season, season 16. If I think Rago, Cole, um, the other four have at least one ride in this Dascar Pro Series, he'll probably get the reserve ride for the Dascar Pro Series if he hasn't signed up already. So I'll, ch I'll let you guys know on Facebook to see if he has a ride or something. Uh, for the Pro Series in Season 2. But he, I do know he'll be having a ride next season for Season 16 of the Pullman Cup Series. Second in the points, Ryan Casey jumped up to second. He was second behind him in the race. And the difference was between him and Balkan was just a mere six points. Even though Casey had one more win than Balkan, the difference was that one extra top ten and top five and, fewest D and fewer DNFs than Casey. So that was probably the main difference. In fact, Joshua, Bal jo Joshua Balkin, Mason Powers, no wait, Powers, Goldbeck, Marchesi had the least DNFs, the second least DNFs of any driver, but the least DNFs go, the least DNFs goes to Mitchell Riggs, who only had eight DNFs the entire season. And let's see if anyone has won three polls. Nobody has won three polls. However, Boyles, Hudson Young, Curtis, Hawkins. Lukewarm, Navarro, Siron, Ragow, and Goldbeck are the only drivers to have won two poles this season. The driver with the most top tens, Joshua Balkin, 14 top tens in his uh, in the season, and the driver with the most top fives, Joshua Balkin, nine top fives, more than any other driver. Hard to believe Brandon Nichols only has one top five, only had one top five in the entire season. Curtis also only had one top five, so did Deion Scott. And even Marshall Rich had only had a runner-up finish when he had his one-race deal at Charlotte. Seth Cole led the way with three wins, um, not counting Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis also had three wins, and Joseph Shrigley also became a three-time winner. Only three three-time winners this season, but last season we didn't have a single three-time winner at all. And the driver that, led, that that survived the most laps, though, was Luke Walker, who survived 80% of the entire season. No other driver has more laps, have done more laps than Luke. And uh, the driver that has led the most laps was Mitchell Riggs. Who, no, wait, Zach Goldback, I'm sorry. It was Zach Goldback that led the most laps with 46 laps led in terms of the earnings, in terms of the laps. But Casey earned more money, but that's not a factor. In determining who's out of the race. So anyway, so that's the top. I just showed you the top 24. Let's show you the rest of the field. Show you the rest of the field and the points. So you saw some drivers on the bottom with no points for some reason. Score for uh, race points manager had them scored with zero. I merge up the points um, under one driver. So if you have a merge team, just find your main driver's position, and that's where you finish in the entire season. So. Um, I wasn't able to do it separately because I just didn't bother to. I had to add a new, a new driver to register in the standings, and I just didn't bother to do so. So, anyway, that's your honor points. And so congratulations to our two winners, Joshua Balkin, the Pichu Cup winner, the driver with the most points, the most non-chase points at the end of the season, Joshua Balkin, and congratulations, Johnny Garner, our Season 15 NASCAR Pullman Cup Series champion. Garner finished 20th in the points, but the chase grid allowed him to win a championship, allowed him to be a champion in the NASCAR, in the NASCAR Pullman Cup Series. Hard to believe Peach only had five DNFs the entire season, the fewest of any driver in the, um, in the entire season, and Joseph Shrigley had the most DNFs with 19 DNFs despite three wins. And so did Nathan Hudson. Hudson had a terrible season, but Voiles was the Royals team was worse, even though they had a win with R.J. Bishop. But they needed help from R.J. Bishop. He needed help from Bishop to get that one win, and Hudson had the win in Las Vegas because of an error from Las, from that track. And Dylan Young came 40th. It was a terrible season for the veterans, but next season is going to be better. Hopefully better for them, but we'll see. And hope you guys enjoyed our season. We'll see you in Season 2, Dascar Pro, and Season 16, the Pokemon Cup Series. So this is the account second here, and I'll see you later.